Hello and welcome back to another video at the Classical Guitar Archive. Today we have a 1999 Felix Manzanero to check out. And just like the other videos, we're going to go over the luthier bio, the specs and measurements, and round things off with a playing demo. So let's go ahead and do just that. Felix Manzanero was born in Madrid, Spain in 1937. At a young age, he learned a few things about guitar building from Modesto Borruero, and he was trained by Manuel Ramirez. Speaking of the Ramirez, at the age of 14, Felix started an apprenticeship in the Ramirez workshop. He started out doing varnish work, but ended up as a master craftsman. Guitars made by Felix in the Ramirez workshop are stamped um, with his initials somewhere inside the body, uh, most likely close to the neck joint. After working at the Ramirez workshop for 12 years, he started building guitars under his own label. In 2010, he retired from guitar building, and sadly, in 2019, he passed away. If you're interested in this guitar, it's currently for sale at Dan Zeff Guitars, just like the 2020 Ken Whistler that we had last week. And because of that, we don't have an owner to talk to, so we'll go straight into the specs and measurements of this instrument. The scale length on this guitar is 650 millimeters, the nut width is 53 millimeters, and the fretboard width at the 12th fret is 61 millimeters. Going over to the body, the upper bow is 27.5 centimeters, the lower bow is 37 centimeters, and the body length is 49 centimeters. Body depth at the tail is 10.5 centimeters. The headstock veneer, well, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like Coco Bolo to me. And underneath the Coco Bolo, you see a thin slice of maple and ebony. The tuners are Fusteros. The nut and saddle are made out of bone. The neck on this guitar is made of mahogany. The fretboard is ebony and the top is spruce. The back and sides are made of Brazilian rosewood and the bridge is made of ebony. The rosette on this guitar is highly decorated and features a flower pattern. The binding of this instrument is made of rosewood and the purfling is an alternating pattern of rosewood and maple. The condition of this guitar is used and is in fairly good shape, however there are a few bumps and scrapes on it. There's some slight swirl marks near the rosette on the treble side. There's also a good sizable ding on the upper bout on the bass side, and of course by the bridge, right where the high E string is, you have some string whiplash. Unfortunately, there is no serial number on the label of the guitar, so I took an endoscope with the hope of trying to find one somewhere inside the instrument. However, the only thing I was able to find are a few stamps. One of the stamps was located at the tail of the guitar and another on the inside of the top. Now that we got the measurements out of the way, let's go ahead and get into a playing demo.
So that about does it for this episode, and I want to thank you for checking it out. And if you are not already subscribed and you want to stay updated on what guitars that is going to be on the channel, subscribe and check out the Instagram. I normally post pictures of the guitars that are going to be coming out in that week's episode. Um, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.